What's up, guys? Good morning, good morning, good afternoon. If you're watching this in the PM time frame, I'm Ryan with Michigan Storm Chasers, giving you the daily forecast video update. So, as I've been talking about, a very fluid day-to-day, hour-by-hour forecast ongoing here for the next couple of days in Michigan. Already seeing some deviance off of the expectations. Last night we wanted or we expected a squall line to come through a bit further to the north. It didn't. It came through much further south and much earlier and not much happened further north. So already getting those uh, deviants out of the expectations. It'll likely continue into today and also tomorrow as well. But I will go ahead and go over a few things with you guys uh, as far as like a personal expectation, uh, what we kind of expect to happen today. So first and foremost, your SPC outlook is on the screen here. Dark green areas in a marginal risk and then yellow areas there in a slight risk. That's going to be over there toward Benton Harbor. So Berrien, Cass, St. Joseph, parts of Branch County, as well as Van Buren County in that highest risk of a severe storm. The exact hazards today, starting with your hail outlook, right along I-94 there from all the way from Benton Harbor all the way to Detroit is going to be your best hail parameter corridor there. Large, or sorry, damaging winds is going to be your secondary and should I say primary concern here. It is all the way up to Mount Pleasant, Tri-Cities over to the Thumb. But it is, again, is highest down there in the yellow area in southwest Michigan. There is also a 2% tornado risk as well for the exact same areas in southwest Michigan. So those include Southern Van Buren, all of Berrien, all of Cass, most of St. Joseph, and parts of Branch County. So a all hazards threat today across the southern portions of the state, southwest portions of the state. Let's go ahead and dive into the model here. So a few things I want to note. Starting with the current analysis of the uh, the radar and the mesoanalysis, real-time data here, I noticed something to keep an eye on. We're going to zoom in here to the floater look since we're looking at talking about lower Michigan here. We're going to be looking at this area, pop out my extension tool, right up here on Lake Michigan. I guess you really can't see it, but it's over here on Lake Michigan. It's what we call an MCV. That MCV is a localized area of spin or what we call low pressure. And that's going to slowly, very slowly work eastward throughout the day. The model here in, I think in regards to that is picking up on that. And it does fire off some storms here right there this afternoon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. ish. It fires off a singular cell rotting the I-96 corridor into Lansing. Have to keep an eye on that. The ingredients right now, this afternoon, don't really support too much in the way of severe weather. But I do think we can get some damaging winds out of that via microburst or downburst. So keep an eye on that very closely. I do think the higher potential for severe weather comes later on this evening. But keeping an eye on the afternoon time frame here, this cell does ride 96 all the way from Grand Rapids to Lansing into the Detroit area. We'll keep an eye on that between this model says 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. around that time frame. It may be severe, although I don't expect it to be. All right. We then turn our attention to the main show, so to speak, to the west of us later on tonight. These storms out here in Wisconsin that the model is showing is going to be the area to watch here. Now, that could also extend further north. We've been talking about how fluid these forecasts are. This is what we're going to talk about. We can see development anywhere off there in Wisconsin. It could be way up here in the UP and track this way and across northern Michigan as well. Right now, though, the model does say south Wisconsin storms fire up. Moving on into the evening, this is 8 p.m. Here's 9 p.m. These develop and they push eastward with more development across parts of northern Michigan as well. But this is a bow echo here. It looks like a decent bow echo here arriving on the West Michigan Lakeshore right around 1 a.m. according to this model. Move this forward into 2 a.m. It starts to weaken just a bit. Uh, but overall takeaway from this is models are doing a terrible job. So expect anything. But we do expect storms to fire up to the west of us in Wisconsin sometime late this afternoon into early evening. Where that happens and where it tracks, we will let you guys know in real time. But right now, models say southwest Michigan, as well as the SPC. All right, so we're going to go off the SPC. I think it's actually a decent outlook uh, for today. Uh, it, it's very hard to get these outlooks right. So keep an eye on changes. It gets updated at 1230 p.m. and again at 4 p.m. and again at 9 p.m. today. Uh, but as well, 
keep an eye on any changes that occur. But overall, watch the West of Us. In addition to that one storm potentially this afternoon with that MCV coming across the uh, central part of the state, keep an eye on both. All right. Now, looking at the Monday forecast. Monday, we have a slight risk in effect for a good chunk of lower Michigan from Mount Pleasant down to Lansing to Kalamazoo to Grand Rapids. You guys are in slight risk, but on top of that, the entire state lies within that marginal risk. So there's still a severe risk no matter where you live in Michigan. It's just highest in that yellow area. Area. The hazards tomorrow, number one, damaging winds is your primary concern. They're in yellow, but also the dark brown areas are a little bit lower concern. Still a concern nonetheless. Large hail threat is tied, again, to southwest Michigan for Monday. We'll keep an eye on that again. Hornetic risk is also tied down there to southwest Michigan. Latest model guidance, and again, I want to highlight this, the model guidance here has been off. So we're taking everything with a grain of salt with the mindset of anything can happen yet. All right. But looking at the model for tomorrow, taking a Midwest zoomed out look here because it's an entire state risk. Moving into tomorrow morning here, the model here has morning showers and storms working their way out out of Michigan into Ontario roughly by noon tomorrow. And then attention turns back up here to the U, excuse me, UP for some storms, but also down here in Wisconsin again. This model right now says these storms are going to dive south of us. Do I buy that? No, I don't. May I, could it happen? Sure. At this point, we have no way of knowing. The takeaway, though, is once again, like today, tomorrow is much of the same. We are going to look for storms to develop out in Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota, Iowa area. They're going to track east, southeastward. Where they track, where they fire up is going to be dependent on where they're going to impact us here in Michigan. Takeaway, though, is the environment tomorrow still remains like it, it, it's a really good environment. It's showing up on models here. So it's something to watch, but nothing to be overly concerned just yet. All right. We have a lot to go through to get to Monday. I know it's only one day, but there's a lot of details on the mesoscale here that need to be worked out. And that's what we're going to be watching all day today. So back-to-back -back risks here, possibilities, not guarantees. Uh, but again, just keep an eye one day at a time. Keep an eye out to the West a little bit later on this afternoon, evening in Wisconsin. Keep you guys updated on our Facebook page in real time. Once we have information, we'll get that communicated to you guys ASAP. With that being said, watch that one storm or a few storms perhaps this afternoon. It's across South Central Michigan. We'll keep track of that as well. And as always, we'll, we'll be live if anything goes severe. All right. With that being said, I'm going to pop out of here. You guys enjoy your day. Stay safe. Stay cool in this, in this community. Excuse me. <clears throat> we'll see you guys likely throughout the day on Facebook. All right. Enjoy your day, guys.